Thanks for tuning in to Good News Devos on Unite Radio. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jake. Last time on Good News Devos, we talked about how everyone is valuable to God. But sadly, because of sin, many people around the world have treated other people as less than valuable. Sin has been a problem for a very long time. Even God's prophets struggled to see other people as valuable. The Bible tells us that's what happened to a prophet named Jonah. If you have a Bible with you, you can follow along in the Old Testament book of Jonah. One day, God spoke to Jonah and said, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. This message must have shocked Jonah. (gasps) And honestly, it's easy to see why. The Ninevites were cruel, evil people. Jonah knew about the Ninevites' terrible sin against God and others. Jonah also knew God was giving them a chance to turn to him and change how they were living. Even though a prophet's job was to deliver God's message, Jonah didn't want to deliver it. Jonah didn't think the Ninevites deserved God's mercy and compassion. And he wasn't wrong. Sin deserves to be punished. But God is full of mercy and compassion. God offers forgiveness and a chance to follow him to all people, even the worst sinners. If you believed in Jesus, God wants you to show mercy and compassion to everyone, even people who are mean to you. That might sound impossible, but remember why Jesus came to earth. Jesus came to make a way so everyone who believes in him can be saved from sin, including people who are evil and cruel. Only he is powerful enough to save them from their sin and change their lives forever. Matthew 5.44 says, But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Your enemies may be people that are hard to love. Maybe it's a bully at school who makes you feel worthless. Or maybe it's someone who is so different from you that you don't like them. God loves you. And God loves your enemies. So whoever your enemies are, God wants you to love them by showing mercy and compassion. He can give you the strength to love and pray for them. If you ask God, he will help you show mercy and compassion to even your worst enemy. Jonah needed God's mercy and compassion for the Ninevites. But sadly, Jonah didn't want the people to have a chance for God's mercy and compassion. So instead of going to Nineveh, he disobeyed God's command. He got on a ship traveling the exact opposite direction. Jonah was trying to run from God, but God knew where Jonah was and he sent a huge storm. The sailors were terrified. They thought they were going to sink. This wasn't just any storm. It came to punish someone. But the sailors didn't know who. God showed them that the storm was because of Jonah. Jonah told them that if they threw him overboard, the storm would stop. The sailors asked God to forgive them, and they hurled Jonah into the sea. As soon as Jonah hit the water, the storm stopped. The sailors were amazed and worshipped God. But what happened to Jonah? The Bible says God made a big fish swallow Jonah right after he was thrown into the sea. Can you imagine staying in the dark, stinky, slimy belly of a fish for three days and three nights? Ew, 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 no way. But that's what Jonah did. It definitely gave him a lot of time to think. During that time, Jonah chose to praise God and remember who God is. After those three days and three nights, God caused the fish to vomit Jonah onto dry ground. Yuck! Then God spoke to Jonah and said, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it the message that I tell you. And this time, Jonah chose to obey God. Jonah went to Nineveh, the city of evil people. When he arrived, He gave them God's warning. In 40 days, God will destroy Nineveh. When the Ninevites heard this, they listened to Jonah's message and believed in the one true God. Because the Ninevites turned to God instead of continuing to sin, God chose not to destroy the city. He showed them great mercy and compassion. But what about Jonah? Sadly, Jonah wasn't happy for the Ninevites. He was upset that God chose to save his enemies. While Jonah was pouting out in the hot sun, God made a plant grow to shade Jonah. He loved that plant. But the next day, a worm came and ate it. This made Jonah angry. Why had God taken away the plant that he loved? God told Jonah, You have more compassion for that plant than for the people I created. God used the plant to help Jonah see that his heart was not right. 
What do you think Jonah did after God showed them that he was wrong? Actually, we don't know. The book of Jonah ends with God talking to him. Even though we don't know what Jonah did, God shows us through Jonah's story that we should show mercy and compassion to everyone. Matthew 5.44 says, But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This verse gives you one way you can show God's mercy and compassion to your enemies. You can pray for them. One of the best prayers you can pray is that your enemy will believe in Jesus if they haven't yet. God is the only one who can change your enemy's heart and life. And God wants to do that. So pray and ask God to help them know Jesus. It's also important to remember that showing mercy and compassion to your enemies doesn't mean it's okay to let them be mean to you. Talk to an adult you trust and help them understand what is happening. Sometimes the best way you can show love is by getting help that stops the mean person from hurting others and teaches him how to live the right way. The next time an enemy upsets you, ask God to help you show mercy and compassion and pray for them. God will help you because his heart is full of mercy and compassion. Thanks for tuning into Good News Devos today. We'll see you next time. Bye.